Hello again, everyone. We are Gaming by Gaslight, and welcome back to Stellaris. When we last left off, things were going pretty well for our little solar empire here. And, I mean, we did find this nasty, found. uh, xenophobic fallen empire, which the, the real benefit of having these guys is that they're probably going to screw these guys over when it comes to actually expanding, because they're at a point where it's actually possible this empire might even go to war with these guys just because they're too close. Well, I don't think, maybe not right now, but basically the AI is boxed in. So until, unless they don't mind having disconnected borders, and I forget whether the AI is programmed to really care about that or not. Uh, yeah, they're gonna be, they'll be reasonably boxed in until we come through here. Anyway, let's see, pattern of unusual sonic activity. Let's check that out. I don't know if we'll be strong enough uh, in this System particular system. series before uh, 1.3 to actually fight these guys. I do hope we eventually get a chance to, because I would like to fight... Science ship under attack. What? I mean you're under attack. Is it you? Crystal people. Come on, get out of there. Let's see. The animals of Semesta 2, Predator and Prey alike, gather together as night falls, and they sing. The howls, clicks, chirps, and roars and hisses are discordant, to say the least, but there is a recognizable melody in them, or in there. And not a bad one, either, to hear the crew of the Condor tell it. The non-sentient choir is obviously the work of some alien entity, and we may never know their purpose in altering the fauna of Semesta 2 in this way. We may, however be able to at least start to figure out how they did it, and we unlock Xenobiology with that. Nice. All right, and then, yeah, hopefully we're, I believe that we're going home, right? Yeah. We're on our way home. Excellent. System survey complete. All righty then. All right, so you're moving on. All right, so yeah, the idea is to figure out how to get a path there and probably continue building up our Navy and upgrading it when possible. What's this? Ah, uh, space amoebas. My old nemesis. Hmm. I'm thinking I might want to clear out this so we can expand in this direction. System survey complete. And again, I'm reminded that I kind of wish there was something so I could easily see from this map where presentience and stuff are, so that I know where I can build the little observation posts. Like, for instance, there is one in here, isn't there? On one of these planets? Ooh, natural beauty. And it's only a size 10. Ah, but it has these guys. So, I, I mean, I wouldn't mind ha uh, uplifting them. Hmm. Eh. That could cause some... Some, <laughs> some minor issues. Let's see, we'll... Wait, actually, what we'll do, we'll build mining stations, and then research stations, and why can I not build an observation post here? There's no post-Neolithic primitives to study. Oh, wait, so I don't actually, because they're pre-sentient, I don't actually... Alright, so what do I do with them, exactly? Do I just uplift them? I and mean, I wouldn't uplift them from here. It would be... Actually, what... What is their, uh... Wow, on their own home planet, they have 15% ethics divergence. Then again, they have no ethics, so I'm a. Oh, yeah, it's because they don't actually have anything. They're just... All right, I, I understand now. All right, so species... Um... <clears> hmm. <throat> I feel like I'm missing something here, because... Oh, no, it's over here. <clears throat> it's over here. This is where I can... See if someone is a primitive or not. Primitive, primitive, primitive. Other. Oh, I guess I do have to go under species in order to get these presentience. All right, uplift. Let's see. Epigemic, ep, epigenetic triggers, which we're currently working on. All right. And these guys, we can uplift them as well, possibly. Wait, do we actually have to be in their uh, system? So they have to be in our empire because. Like, within our borders in order for us to uplift them. I also think if we uplift a pre-sentient, they automatically join our empire, so that'll be good. 
Very good indeed. Uh, what do we got going on over here? You're, yeah, you're just passing through. Okay, that's good. Oh, you're the construction ship, right. All right. Yeah, I really should at some point... Actually, there's a couple of things I should do. One, let's build a new science ship. Two, let's see. Shield hit points plus 20%, explosive weapons plus 10, destroyer and Corvette assembly yards, why not? I don't think we're going to get far enough in the game that I'm going to worry too much about, uh, like, specializing various planets and stuff in terms of the, the actual um, stuff they produce in their spaceports. And I suppose it could be a good idea, but I'm not going to worry too much about it. Because it, it's probably nothing to worry about too much. Anyway, right, let's uh, clear all this. And let's see here. How are you looking? You got five foods so far. Okay, so I'm not overly worried about producing food with you. What I would like instead, let's uh, get some science labs up here. You know what? I'm also going to get you to build a science lab and then inhabit the science lab. I think that'll be okay. And as for over here, okay, you're almost done, so we'll get you to build... Science lab, and then we'll save up our points so we can upgrade this. All right. Very good. Anyway, yeah, you know what? I'm going to get my navy to start blowing up all the uh, life forms in our borders, at least, and then we'll kind of go from there. And then we'll go back here, and then we'll... Finish blowing stuff up. System yeah. survey complete. All right, not bad. Not bad at all. all right, our science ship's not doing anything, and that will not do at all. So let us go around. He Actually, no, no, no. We'll go. We'll work our way this way because I want to see if there are crystalline elites here in this particular system. Yeah, because it's a pulsar, and that's where crystalline elites can show up, which is what will get us our crystal forged plating, which will give us a nice boost over the enemy. Which would be good. Excellent. Oh, and we have a new science ship, so let's get ourselves a new science leader. Um, okay, we'll go with rocketry, because well, why not? And then you can kind of wander on over here. I feel... Oh, let's see, survey has uncovered something that can only be described as mystical. Ooh. Well, that sounds fun. All right. So, research project, research project, and then survey the system. Beautiful. All right. Very nice. Situation log updated. Also, I can't help but notice that our fleet power is 666. Clearly the work of the devil. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, gosh darn it. Ah, that disappoints me. I should probably backtrack to this as well. Research complete. Enemies in... Okay, that's for that. Uh, oh, UV lasers. Excellent. Uh, cold fusion reactor, uh, reactors. You know what? Actually, just uh, go repair yourself, then we'll blow these things up. Don't want to risk losing my ships or anything. In fact, let's, uh, let's actually upgrade these things. Alright. Got some of this, some of that this. I pretty much exclusively use the bombardment computers because for the time being I don't feel there's much need to use other kinds. Hmm. Yeah, we do need that next level of power generation, I would say. Yeah, so you know what? We'll wait on that. We won't bother upgrading everyone until we can upgrade them properly. Debris analyzed. Excellent. What did we get? Mining drone lasers, nanocomposite materials. If I recall correctly, also the stuff you can get System from complete. construction complete. From researching uh, various uh, like the creature techs, you'll uh, like they'll be made considerably better. Well, maybe not considerably, but they will be better than 
they are at present. Uh, we'll also upgrade this to a bio lab, because I do notice that our social is kind of lacking compared to our other sciences, so we'll want to make sure that gets up there. We'll want to upgrade this to a planetary administration. Uh, we don't have access to the next level of planetary capital yet, by the looks of it. All right, let's uh, also clear some of these. I suppose I actually what I should do is focus on clearing the ones that actually have resources on them. So we'll do that. All right, good. And I should definitely save up so that we can get more power again, because that would probably be good. All right, void clouds. All right, just make your way over here then. We'll skip the void cloud. Please let there be crystalline elites in here. There is nothing. That is greatly disappointing to me. But this is a smaller galaxy, so the odds of getting the composite material is understandably a bit rarer. All right, so yeah. Actually, what we could even do now that I think about it, because the only way these guys can get out is through here, so now that I think about it, if I saved up my influence and just built an outpost here, and then built a fortress and a whole bunch of stuff around here, I could basically uh, turn this into a shooting gallery. Which actually wouldn't be that bad. Of course, then again, doing that might piss these guys off. But now I can see what, where these guys' problem is, because they literally have only one way out of here, which means if we fortify this lane, Research complete. and they basically are stuck, which is good. Ah, let's uh, get this, because more influence is good, more of everything is good, 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 and so on and so forth. All right, let's uplift the people on this planet. Can I do it from here? I didn't actually check to see if that was a possibility. I can't. That, that kind of sucks. So I have to go in here, and in here, and where are those mushroomy people? You're, or mollusky people. All right, let's bring you into the fold. What do we want to do with you? Well, oh, we have only one point right now. Right. It would be nice to make them conformists as well. But I guess what we'll do is make them... Hmm. I guess we'll make them communal so they'll be happy. Or then again, maybe I could make them... Yeah, I'll make them strong. They'll get extra minerals, extra army damage. Yeah, I like that. We'll worry about other stuff later. All right. And uplift the heck out of them. Updated. Timed project. Uplift species. Oh, is this actually going to stop my... Oh, dang gummit. Uh, do I have to actually send someone there? No, it's actually just working on its own. Okay. I'll be honest, I'm mildly annoyed by that, but oh well. Uh, these things happen. And then we'll just have you orbit for now. Alright, good. Ah, uh, derf. It's like Earth, except System survey complete. earthier. Construction complete. Yes, that's, that's what we'll go. Oh, and you're finished with that. So, uh, we'll get you to go kill a space amoeba now, because space amoebas are n not very nice, and we don't want anything to do with them, because they're evil, evil people, or something like that. Construction complete. Construction complete. Well done. All right, and uh, let's uh, zoom on in. And yes, attack the space amoeba. Yes. Hostile fleet engaged. Kill them all. Hostile fleet. Whoa, 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 where? No, no, no. Now you sit down, good sir. You will survey this planet, and then you will do the research project, and then survey the system. Under attack. Kidding me? Situation log updated. You know, that probably worked to my benefit, because it turned to start attacking the science ship instead of my actual uh, combat fleet. Makes my life easier. Loverly. All right, so, ooh, we've encountered another civilization. Nifty. All right. What do we know about these people? They are, ooh, and they're the, in the Atomic Age. Very nifty. All right, what do we know about them? They're xenophobes, they're fanatic material. Ooh, they would not like us very much. And they have one ethics divergence. Wait, why? Happiness, capital world. Hmm. Wow, 
Uh, the fact that on your own capital, you could end up having positive ethics divergence. And that's why I like fanatic spiritualist. I mean, even just regular spiritualist. Because then you don't have to deal with ethics divergence. Which is actually, I guess, when, when you think about it, it's kind of a shame that I have a mindset like that. Because you'd figure it would actually be better to have all kinds of different ethics. Because then you could have the strengths of all of them. Which again, is why I really should put together like a formal suggestion. And whatnot, and hope that Paradox sees it, because I think the idea of making it so that instead of uh, just having people be unhappy if they're different ethics, make it so that, you know, different ethics have different influence and power and whatnot, and if they're, like, too low influence and power, then pops with that ethics start getting unhappy and stuff like that, and then, you know, you just manage sort of different ethics factions and stuff instead of individual pops getting angry and stuff. Which I think would end up making rebellions when they did happen a lot more important because what would end up happening is you'd have like whole sectors rebelling at once together instead of like individual planets or in you know just sort of like just the way it is now I don't I don't like the current thing I think it would be much better if empire management involved trying to keep all the different factions happy and primarily factions would be composed of different ethics and whatnot and a planet. Anyway, yeah, I, I talked about it before. It's something I really should write up a formal suggestion for, like I said. That way I could also get it clear in my head exactly what it is I'm trying to say. Yeah. Anyway. So yeah, I should clear this out. Analyzed. Or I could always colonize over here. Project complete. Excellent! Let's see. Our efforts to accelerate... Oh, and we got an achievement for that. Our... Let's see, our efforts to accelerate the evolution of the Geomar along a favorable trajectory have been tremendously successful. Educational programs are in place for the specimens. Individuals now, born post-uplift, and their elders are proving receptive to psychogenetic conditioning. Welcome, welcome. All right. All right, and this is also an ocean world, so... You know what? No, because this is their... their... Wait, it actually doesn't have a unique name. Never mind. We will call it Mare Shariat. Let's see, what are we looking at here? Negative 4.1. So, wait. Uplifted, what does this do? Species was uplifted from primitive. I kind of wish it said what the bonuses were specifically there, but I think they had bonuses to happiness. Yeah, because they were uplifted. Uh, they don't like purging, they don't like resettlement, and they don't like that leadership is primary species only. So we could get 15% more happiness if we remove purging, resettlement, and uh, leadership. Interesting. But they don't actually have... Uh... Oh! I, I've probably should have been paying attention to this as well. I just happened to pick the right thing. So basically they are going to be good for... Also, with this high migration attraction, people from my own worlds might start showing up here. Which is not bad. Yeah, we're definitely going to make our armies out of Jomar, I think. Uh, getting back to this. Uh, let's see here. And ethics divergence, happiness, minus 4%. Fanatic spirit... Wait, it says they're fanatic spiritualist, but they don't actually show that. Interesting. You know what, we'll wait until the month ticks over and see if that, like, fully puts that in there. Abandoned cargo pod. Let's see... Discarded cargo pod was left by someone in the upper atmosphere of Fur Mafrios 7 long ago. It has somehow escaped the notice of other spacefarers, and its decaying orbit means it would have been lost in the gas giant's crushing atmosphere within another few years. When the crew of the Condor unsealed the pod, they found a stash of alien jewelry made out of precious metals. Oh, nifty, and that got us plenty of useful... <clears throat> ah, something is scratching at my throat, it would seem. But anyway, yeah, so this should improve things. There's a lot of food on this particular planet. Which is not bad. Wait a minute, they don't have a capital. Oh. I, that could explain some things. Let's, uh... I just build the ship shelter on this food tile. There we are. That'll be important. Lift up, follow up. The Jomer have been among us for several days now, 
all is well on planet Mare Sherry. Wait, does that mean that there is a possibility that it could have gone wrong? Have they uh, picked up my ethics yet? Apparently not. I'm mildly confused by that development, but all right. It is what it is. Oh, here we go. Looking inwards. A statistically significant group of Jomar citizens appear unsatisfied with our teachings on the nature of the cosmos. An unknown individual or group among them is circulating some spurious codex that attaches unique importance to the Jomar and they're up uplifting by the Umbran conscious. Oh, this will make them, uh, let's see. Let them have their mysteries, which gives them spiritualists. I wonder what this would do. Maybe it makes it random. But let's make sure that they're spiritualists. Oh, right! The reason why they were... They have the uh, negative 30 for fanatic spiritualist is because we're spiritualist. Right. Right. So I guess I didn't really need to do that. Well, it, it will bone it or benefit their growth here, so I guess that's okay. Uh, let's see. You know what? Let's also... What does this do? I probably should have... Clicked on this before building stuff. We'll go for spiritual unity and propaganda broadcast just to make sure that they're happier. Oh, wow. We actually have a lot of influence there. Which actually makes me think. Um, hmm. Wow, only 55 happiness. These people on my own planets are actually pretty unhappy. That's sort of sad. Let's see if we can uplift these guys. Holy crap, I can where are they? They're not even in my territory. Uh, it does mildly concern me that, um, yeah, that might piss off these guys. But, you know what? Screw them. Right? Right. That's what I say. Alright. I mean, th th that could actually be terrible for me. But, you know what? We'll do it. Uh, what are their current traits? They are conservative so they get a plus one skill level but higher experience gain so let's see let's make them uh oh i could even change their their uh, world preference but i don't think that would be a good idea let us make them hmm rapid breeders that could be good Quick learners to offset the slow gain, but, uh, you know what, let's make them natural sociologists, because we are a little behind when it comes to this. Oh, I, oh, I can't actually do it because they aren't in my, okay. I wish it prevent, oh, what's this? Conscientious objectors. Some issues have arisen on Mare Chariot as a result of the Jomar populace's aversion to arms. A representative has made a formal request for clearly delineated demilitarized zones. Very well. Pacifist, or I could make them militarist. What heck, why not? System survey complete. Alright, so that that means they'll be even better at killing stuff. Frankly, I appreciate that. Why are you unemployed? Because I haven't been building stuff. Alright, we'll switch you over there. We'll build a science lab over here. And also, let's see, power hub, because science is important. We'll make that into a physics lab. Uh, let's see, what else do we need? All right. Uh, we might need this food, actually, but I would rather focus on the science lab for now. And we will appropriately... We'll worry about more food stuff later. I mean, that may be a bad idea, but I'm not that worried about it. For the time being, anyway. It's probably something we'll want to worry about eventually, but I'm not too worried about it right now. Alright, let's, uh... Oh, I can't afford anything right now. Or because we don't have the ship shelter. You'd figure it would just automatically put a capital on a random tile. When you uplifted a species, because and why would we even have to build a ship shelter in the first place? That seems just silly to me. I'm actually almost wondering if I should release them as a vassal, but then again, I'd rather directly control them. Yeah, 
yeah. Yeah, I think overall, it's, I think I made the right choice, except for the fact that looking at the clock now, I have let this video go on a bit longer than I probably should have. So for now, I think it is time to wrap things up. So until the next time, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you all in the next video.